Thank you so for this opportunity for me to air my opinion about the landscape of theme funk in Cameroon. First, uh, from the first panel we had in the morning, we already heard that in Cameroon we have 22 think tanks based on the global goal for think tank index. So the question now is, why is it a constant figure, 2017, 2018, now still on a stagnant basis? I think before we look at why we are still dilly dallying on 22, it's good to look at what is preventing the growth of uh, think tanks in Cameroon. And to that effect, I'm going to say from my own point that the first thing that prevents or that, uh, that prevents the proliferation of uh, think tanks in Cameroon, apart from finance, because back in the days, most research institutes, think tanks inclusive, used to get more uh, funds from donors. But these days, most think tanks, including ours, depend also on philanthropic acts and donors from outside, not necessarily uh, from donors. So I think the first challenge that think tanks like uh, the Capital Policy Institute has is that of finance. If you don't have the donors, there's no way you can promote uh, policies that you are really eager to promote. If you don't have donors, then projects that you really earmark to sponsor, you will not be able to continue. Secondly, I think another hindrance that we have is uh, relating to the climate of ideas. Earlier on, Dr. Yuk talked about the fact that think tanks are out to promote uh, free enterprise and uh, opportunities, or, or give, uh, open up opportunities for other people to leverage on and carry out policy. I think that is a critical hindrance the climate, not necessarily the political climate, hinders the growth of think tanks. You may want to flourish, but you're being compelled to stay within certain boundaries. So at the uh, Kafu Policy Institute, we encounter this and many other challenges. And uh, just in passing, you've already talked about our numerous uh, projects, our numerous success stories, and I just want to buttress on the, fa on the fact that at CAFU, we believe in promoting independent and in-depth research, not just for them to lie in, the, in our cupboards. So there, our challenge is how do we market these research publications? That is our major hindrance as CAFU Policy Institute, marketing our products. And I'll go with the uh, 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 panelist to say that we try to promote African, we try to come up with African solutions to African problems. We live in our context. We believe in the reality on the ground. We don't want to borrow ideas from Europe, from Asia, and try to replicate them here. We look at what we have on the ground, and then we try to bring out our own solutions. So forums like this simply helps us to be able to know which are those think tanks and the areas of expertise. We are into research, we are into research in different domains, health, policy, economic, development, and all of that. But now I'm getting to know about Sedotola, which sponsored a PhD thesis on, on forestry and something like that. So it's an opportunity for us at CAFU to try to create a network with other think tanks so that together we can influence the climate of ICS in Cameroon and make Cameroon a sustainable place where we can be able to achieve, as a country, the sustainable development goals to reduce poverty, promote gender balance and the universal health coverage. Thank you.